I'm going to mount a rocket on a gamma drop weight stringing machine and the first thing you want to do is make sure that your support post are equidistant from the turntable pivot so that your tension will be equalized on the top and the bottom in both sides of the tennis racket. You're going to have uh, four frame spacers, that's these little egg-shaped devices uh, that come with your drop weight stringer. Uh, there's four different sizes. This one spacer has a thin side and a thick side, and this one has a little bit thicker side and the thickest side. So what you want to do is there's one flat side and there's one angled side. You want the flat side to go down. I'm going to use the thickest side on the thinnest spacer. This is my flat side, this is my angled side, and I'm going to put it down over the support post pin. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom one. This is my angled side, this is my flat side. Flat side down. Okay. Uh, you could use the thickest one on this side and the thinnest one on this side. Uh, it depends upon whether you've got a uh, tapered frame or not. If you've got a frame that's very thick at the head and very thin at the bottom, you may want to do that. When I mount the racket now, I want to make sure that the racket logo is upright and then I'm going to mount the racket in uh, as level as possible. You don't want to put the head down first and then drop down the other side, or vice versa, put down the, the uh, throat first, because the racket will hit that support pin. So what I want to do is I want to lower my racket so that it's level, and the center two grommets are centered on the pin at the head, and the center two grommets are centered on the pin in the throat. Now I'm going to take my cap plate, and the cap plate has a rubber side on it and uh, the plastic side. I want that rubber side to be down to prevent the uh, racket from slipping back and forth. The racket now should be on the inside up against this spacer, and the bottom of the racket should be hitting the rubber pad on the su uh, support. So now I'm going to drop down my cap plate and I'm going to take a knob and put it on there. When you start stringing your crosses, in order to, to clamp the top cross, this cap plate might be in the way. So if I'm going to clamp over here on the top left, I'm going to twist this cap plate just a little bit to get this cap plate out of the way. Then I'll turn down my knob and just make it finger tight. I'll do the same thing on the bottom. I want my uh, spacer right here now up against the frame. If it's not up against the frame, I can use the provided T-handle to loosen the set screws in this support and then slide it either in or out to make sure that that uh, spacer is touching the racket so that the racket doesn't slide back and forth. The same thing now when I slide the cap plate down and I clamp that bottom cross, if I'm going to be clamping it over here, I want to make that cap plate a little offset. Then I can turn down my knob and again I just want it finger tight. The frame now should be very, very solid in there. It shouldn't wiggle around whatsoever. Now I'm ready to start my mains in the tennis racket.